So here's my big glass jar that's going to be the base of the bird bath. And I washed it. The thing about um, decorating the inside of this, it's going to be really dry because I'm going to be sealing the glass piece on top and any condensation, it'll just gather inside of the jar and it'll just make things really not nice or pretty. So, and then you have to repeat and open it all up and make sure it's all dry. So just uh, wash it and make sure that you let it dry for a couple of days. And that's the same with any of your rocks or things that you're gonna load it in. Make sure they're good and dry and that they're clean. And I've been letting these dry for almost a week now. So as you can see, I'm just gonna put this big branch in here and I'm gonna start loading up the rock. Some of these are from all the different places that I've visited. And I like my heart, heart rocks. So that's special. It's gonna be going in for the little birds. Here's another one. So let's get loading up here. So pretty. Oh, there's another heart one. You can see that? There it is. Some of my friends have given me because they know I collect rocks. And I paint rocks. There we go. Dropping them all over. I'm going to put the heart one right on top. So it can be seen. decorate it with anything. Two glass, uh, pieces of um, porcelain, anything that you've collected. And on my beach box, because we live close to the ocean, I've collected lots of driftwood that kind of goes with the outdoor feeling. So I'm going to put that there like that. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, how pretty that looks. So I brought in my tray, the glass part from outside while it was drying. I haven't sealed it with resin. That'll be my next um, step. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful that's going to look in the garden when I'm done. You could put little lights in there, solar lights in there and they can light up. I'm thinking about doing that maybe before I'm gluing the top. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think solar lights inside would be really pretty. And then that way it would glow on the glass, through the glass. And when I resin it, um, the thing about alcohol inks is whatever work you do, it's gonna fade and scratch away. You have to seal your alcohol inks. And before you do, it's good to tighten up any spots that you're missing or that you don't like before you use the resin. And I really highly recommend that you varnish or you uh, resin your alcohol ink pieces or put glass over them or something because they won't last a lifetime like oil painting or even watercolors. I mean, watercolors do fade, but this will scratch and get damaged. And I don't want that to happen because I want it to last for years and years to come. So I'm gonna resin now. Hi everyone, I've got the resin and this is the bird bath, the outside of it. So it's equal parts for the resin. It levels by itself. So I'm outside doing this because of the fumes and we're just gonna put it on and let it dry and we'll be done the project soon. This is really going to make the colors pop. Hi everyone. While the resin is dry, this is what the finished platter looks like for the top of the bird bath. I decided to use solar lights, LED lights. There's 20 in a pack. And I just put this in the ground and it'll recharge itself every day. So it'll light up at nighttime. It'll be so pretty. And I'm hoping all these rainbow colors 
are going to attract the little birds. So this is what it's all about. A do-it-yourself glass bird bat. And I was at the garden center today and just the platters alone are $49.99. So this is a really good project to do. I think the platter was $2 and the jug was $3. So, and then I put the rocks in and the driftwood. The most expensive thing were the lead lights, but I think it's really gonna show up in the garden really nicely. And I've decided not to glue the top of the platter to the jug. It's really sturdy with the cord coming down. Um, I just didn't wanna, you know, if I have to adjust the lights and I wanna continue filling it all up with pretty things. Um, like sea glass and marble and the rocks and the driftwood. So that's what the project's like. So I hope you like it and um, happy gardening everyone. Bye-bye.